What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Elliot Delp. Sparky. Back again like you never left. And today we're I gonna didn't. be doing, no you didn't. Today we're gonna be doing the top three budget hunting optics. These have been, well, actually I picked two of these up on my own dime, a little transparency. One of them was sent out and I liked it so much I included it in the video. So uh, there's that. Second, shameless plug to basement operator company, our apparel line. Uh, make sure to go check it out, basementoperator.com. Nice, comfy, tactile. LARPer material. LARPing mm. material, if you mm. get the comfort line. Super comfy, a little bit baggier. Real nice stuff. Couldn't recommend it more. Just go check it out, basementoperator.com. Link down below. All right, so without any more rambling, let's start with off with the first and the cheapest of these optics. So we have tested all these optics. They are all on unloaded firearms. Bolts are back, so don't get bent out of shape about it. And uh, there's reviews on my channel for each of these, okay? So the first, but not the least, Sig Buckmaster, uh, the three to nine by 40 version. Previously known as the Nikon Buckmaster. Previously known as the Nikon, which I do have a Nikon Buckmaster. I almost uh, brought it. Did you? Did you almost grab it almost off the grabbed shelf? It. I almost grabbed some, mm -hmm. why not? Looks awful familiar. That's right. Yeah, so when Nikon quit with their scope line, I guess Sig they, picked up the Buckmaster. Yeah, they sold the rights to them or something. What, I don't know how exactly that works, but somehow Sig got a hold of the name and the logo. And they threw it on a three to nine. And it's actually a pretty half decent optic. So this one was picked up at Palmetto for about $120. This came with the mount, came with a Vortex mount. So if you eye Palmetto real good, you can find it. And uh, one way to do that, I'll throw it up on my Instagram. So you should make sure to follow me on Instagram. Uh, links down in the description down below for Instagram. And uh, I usually throw stuff, good deals up on my story. I do it all the time. And that's a heck of a deal for 129 bucks. Yeah, they're give, the mount, they're the giving mount. you that. Was that the one inch mount? Yeah, the yeah. One, so this has one inch scope, or the tube's one inch. So it comes with a one inch mount. The mount itself is hundred bucks. Oh yeah. like Vortex if, mounts are expensive. Oh yeah, so you're getting this mount I mean, heck, I would buy it just for the mount. <laughs> yeah, it ain't a bad deal. I mean, you, then you can pawn off the scope. That's right. Because the scope, if you just buy the scope, I think it's $99. Yeah. So, not a half bad deal. No, not bad for 39 by 40 No, not bad at all. And if you look down it, really clear for the money. And then it has your basic, uh, your basic holdovers. Mm -hmm. um, very common. Doesn't have any type of windage holdover. I don't know how much leading you plan on doing. <laughs> But, so it's, uh, so it, the reticle only has BDC for elevation. Yeah, and we'll pop the reticle up Bullet to make drop. sure you guys can see it. But essentially, it's just BDC, uh, no windage, which is fine. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world. It could have none at all. Yeah, it's true. So I have no problems with it, especially for it being so inexpensive. Oh, yeah. Wallet, wallet friendly. Wallet friendly. And the scope is in MOA, so if you're doing any type of shooting with it, you throw it to the max magnification and then you can use your holdovers there in MOA increments in the optic. Does have a little throw lever. Yeah. You can thread in and out. Which, if you like a throw lever. You know, which, you know, just in case you know, you're shooting that massive 120 pound doe, you need, you need to zoom in to where it looks big. There you go. <laughs> you wouldn't know anything about that, would we, Sparky? No, uh -uh, no. I carry a brown Sharpie just in case. <laughs> <laughs> so the focusing on this is in the back. Pretty, pretty standard. Eye relief. Just yeah, eye relief. Yeah, for the money, it's a good scope. Fairly Cannot decent. go wrong. Nope. Let's dive right on into the second one right here, Sparkles. This one is on the, uh, actually I didn't even say what that one's on. Stag. That's Stag 68. This one is on a D, or not DB, Aero Precision 308. All right. Uh, un <laughs> I took the flash hider off and it is unprotected. Mm, look out. Look out, watch out. This is the Vortex Sonora. That Sonora. sounds about right. Word's hard. This is the 4 to 12 by 44. This one was also picked up at PSA for $130. Uh, came with the mount as well. Really nice, really, really cool little optic. So you do have your holdovers very similar to this one. It but is an it MOA. Windage. This one has windage though. So that's, that's one of the big differences. Another one of the weird big differences is kind of how you uh the eye relief the eye relief is different so you have to unlock the eye relief and then you can change it so here you can change it by rotating it the and then hole. and then locking it back into place my ocd would be all no over the place. i mean you knock the reticle or not not the reticle you knock the uh um, the branding the off branding off oh, OCD's which kicking in. i mean 
the whole reason you get things is for the branding. Oh yeah, 110%, you know. So, I mean, you knock it off and then you're just like, the gun's useless. Oh yeah. Useless. Now, this is the slightly cheaper for Vortex to make replacement to the Crossfire. Cross but very similar. Oh, they're very similar. They look very similar. Very, yeah. And I have, I have a bunch of different Vortexes and I love them. Um, can't go wrong with this one for the money is good scope. Um, it's 129 dollars. Yeah, like you can't like you're going and with the mount. It's may, may we say cheap scope? Like it is, there, there's mean, definitely these are all cheap scopes. ish budget ish scopes, but you can't go. Wrong. It's a good one. Like I like it. I yeah. I wouldn't be afraid to put on one of my guns. And, if you don't and, get one, and, beat it up. And it's a vortex. Whatever you do to it, as you're covered. As, yeah, as long as they can identify that they made the item, they will replace it. No questions asked. Yeah. Now this eye relief, like I'm not a fan. It's, but not, it's a not a deal breaker. Yeah, exactly. It's not a deal breaker. That's getting extremely picky. Mm -hmm. Cause that's not something you're gonna change a lot. No, you're gonna you're, set it and it's done. You're gonna, when you're sighting in the gun, you're going, okay, okay, this is where it's comfortable to rest my cheek and adjust it maybe a little bit. But I bet you most people wouldn't even notice. Wouldn't even notice. Like wouldn't even have to mess with it. Most people don't mess, mess with it. So. Yeah. So, I go. mean, that, that's just a nick picky thing. The scope works really well. I have it sighted in on the 308. Tracks. Just fine. Oh, yeah. Clarity, perfect. Uh, does the job. Yeah, it does the job. What more can you want out of a $129 scope? I mean, not a whole lot. Nope. No. And what, I wouldn't be afraid to put any of these on like a good hunting rifle, a very common hunting rifle, or just on your AR if you're just looking for like a, a scope to start you out. Works perfectly right. fine for Makes that. Makes a hunting setup, whatever. Yeah, great to go. So before we get into this last option, I would like to say thank you to one of the sponsors of the channel, Kerr Ammo. If you're unfamiliar with Kerr Ammo, they're out of Texas. They do awesome job at sourcing some high quality, mm -hmm. hard to get ammunition. Oh, yeah. What did you say you saw on their, their Instagram the other Six day? 65 Jack. Very impressive. Uh, you don't see that very often. Yeah, so go check out Kerr Ammo. Link will be at my link, treetakeswinoutdoors.com forward slash links. Link is down in the description. There you can go to Kerr's website. Uh, pick whatever you want out. Use code DELT10 at checkout. Gets you $10 off that first order, no minimum purchase. All right, so go check out Kerr Ammo. Big thank you to them. Last but not least, Sparky. Primary Arms. Primary Arms, their brand new SLX Hunting Series Optic. So this is the three to nine by 40 version. Okay, so they have two different versions, three to nine by 40 and the three to nine by 50. This one runs $200 MSRP. No mount. No mount. All right. Big downside to this optic was the price and and the fact there's no mount involved or these two both get a mount. Now, this one does have a great warranty from Primary Arms. You can do pretty much whatever you need to it. This has very tactile, good turrets. All right, so you have a three and a half inch um, eye relief. Awesome little optic. Okay, very clear, tracks perfectly. I mean, you're look, that's what you're looking for in, in a good optic, but all these do that. So all these are very clear, all of these track really good and have been tested, shot, what you may have it. I have some OG Nikon oh, yeah. tactical uh, mounts. Those are expensive mounts when they came out. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So. Biggest thing I see right off the bat is the fact that the magnification ring goes opposite direction as like- All the other all ones? All the other ones. It goes the, yeah, the exact opposite. So that'd be something getting used to, which that's, again, that's not something, that's not, it's, it, it, it's inconvenience. Like if you're used to well, these, if, if you, you're looking down it, but the, the thing is, if you're looking down it, you're taking this thing hunting. Okay? Oh, yeah, that's true. You're taking this thing hunting, you're looking down it. You're not changing it that often. You're at you're at whatever mag you are and you want to go the other way. You either hit a wall and you go the other way. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're going to be like, when, you know, when that when that big old Bam, when Bambi's dad steps out and you're, you're, you're shaking, and boy, you got, you know, just magnification, you're going to, you know, be losing it. But I, 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 know, shoot, I shoot on three power anyway when Bambi's dad comes out. I'm just. You're just hoping. I'm just hoping Open. it hits. But no, nah, that's just something I noticed. Like it goes opposite direction. Right. But you know, just eye relief, pretty standard. Um, oh, well. One, actually the biggest downside to this optic, and w we've had a lot of negative things to say with, uh, with, with the price and without coming with a uh, mount, but the reticle is a very basic reticle mm -hmm. compared to these other two reticles. Uh, this the, is called the Plex reticle. That's original. It is what it is. Just cross. No BDC. No, no BDC at nothing. all. But it is a very traditional hunting optic. Reminds me of the V-Plex that Vortex has. Yeah. So very, very basic. No holdovers whatsoever. It's clear. But, but it's clear. It's really nice. Primary Arms, I have a lot of their optics and they have 
really, really good glass. It's probably the best glass on the table, which I'd yep. hope so for the money. Yeah, and you're paying a little bit more for it. I, I will say, very, very clear, very, very good little shooting optic. I have it on a Diamondback 223 right now. This is kind of like the daytime coyote hunting setup. Um, and you can't go wrong with it. It's a great shooter, you know? I don't. Yep. So that's our whole spread. Sparky, if you had to pick one of these, which one would it be? Hmm. Probably the Vortex. Yeah, probably. Probably, like, you know, I mean, the warranty's nice. Um, the eye relief you can get over, that's not something you're gonna mess with that often. Um, I like the reticle better than the primary arm. It's not a glass. If I could, if I could have eye relief adjustment from this one, the glass from this one, and the reticle from this one. Oh, we just hodgepodge them. That's right. Uh, that, that'd be, that'd be what I, those are the, the one thing about each one. I, you know, like, I like cool. turrets on this one. Yeah. They're tactile. Tactile. Tactile turrets. Heck yeah. Ooh, that's thick. <laughs> Nice audible click. That's right. So, uh, yeah, I'd probably have to go with the same. I like the Vortex a lot. I mean, you get the warranty, you get the mount, mm -hmm. you get the reticle. Oh, yeah, I didn't even think about the mount, but yeah, that deal from PSA. Man, can't if, go you, if you're in the market to save money, Vortex is the whole package. Now, the only problem where, like, you might start to question is if you're looking for something to mount on a very traditional bolt gun, you cannot put a cantilever mount on a bolt gun. Well, no, but any 30, but then again, just the scope itself doesn't come with cantilever mount unless you get it from PSA in that deal. So just the scope as it is. It'd be about hundred bucks or something. Yeah, but I mean, you can, depending on what rifle you're running, like Weaver makes it. So you can. Well, yeah, you could get one inch scope rings pretty cheap. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty standard for one inch scope rings. Yeah. But I get what you're saying. If you buy this specific deal from PSA for 130 bucks, you get the scope and the mount. It'll do you any good if you're shooting a, you know, Remington 700. Yeah. I digress. Still great optic for an AR if you're looking oh, for yeah. one. Oh, yeah. Anything, anything pick rail, you're ready to rock and roll. Oh, yeah. Ready to do work. Go to work. All right. So I think that about does it for the video. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Make sure to follow me on Instagram to stay up to date on deals. And go check out Kerr Ammo. I think that about does it for the video. Sparky, will conclude us? Peace. Peace. Made in China. Or Taiwan. That was made in Taiwan. Old Nancy Pelosi. Mm. That's what she was going to pick up. Buckmaster. Too bad she couldn't stay. <laughs>